Hey there, and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. We are on track for one of the strongest weeks on Wall Street in more than a decade. The Dow is up 110. The S&P is up 10.5. The NASDAQ, as you can see, is up 43 points. Now, all three are heading for another day of record closes. And for the Dow and NASDAQ, this is the best beginning of the year run they've had since 2006. Now, there are some big stories that we are following on this Friday. Philip Morris says it is quitting smoking. The cigarette and tobacco giant has released a manifesto on its website saying it intends to get out of the cigarette business and instead focus on helping people quit or find alternatives such as electronic cigarettes. Critics aren't impressed, noting that e-cigarettes can be just as addictive and a growing number of teens are used in them. As you can see, Philip Morris is actually holding steady right now just up about half a percentage point. And yesterday, we told you how the Sears Holding Company, which has been hurting, was shutting down more than 100 Sears and Kmart locations. Well, JCPenney has decided to dogpile on the misery. The CEO says his company plans to chase some of the markets that Sears used to dominate. They've already started selling home appliances and are now adding showrooms for mattresses and expanding its home goods category. Right now, shares of Sears, as you can see, are down about 2.5%. And JCPenney is actually down about 4 percent four percent it needs its own help as a matter of fact shares of jc penny are down more than 50 percent from one year ago and a follow-up to comcast's big announcement at the end of last year that it would be giving thousand dollar bonuses to more than a hundred thousand employees because of that tax cut bill hey you know what good for them but just this week the philadelphia inquirer confirmed that just five days before that announcement comcast had actually fired about 500 employees now it did offer them a similar thousand dollar severance bonus but they were also reportedly required to sign a non-disclosure agreement to get it you know they want to kind of keep it quiet and this past wednesday another 400 comcast employees in atlanta were laid off but some were actually encouraged to apply to other facilities so comcast says the number will actually be closer to just 290. Hey, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube page. I'm Mike O'Neill, and we will see you after the close.